Hey folks, when you're done watching this battle, go over to Pokebox 5 and check out the battle I just uploaded there. Um, that battle and this battle are very similar in a certain way that you'll be able to see quite quickly after watching each battle. Um, but yeah, so go check them out. Bye. Hey folks, so I've got a battle here that absolutely stumped me when I had it. I had no idea what had happened. My opponent is Antari, Antari, Antari. I saw him hanging around the quid zat. I was like, Antari versus Antar? It'll be perfect. So anyway, this is actually the second battle we had. The first, there was a disconnect, and I'd seen this crocodile, um, and he'd seen my Jufro, and so that's why I let off with it. He goes ahead and ice punches me as I do well over half with a Giga Drain. And here I make a really stupid mistake, because while I am down to my Focus Sash, I should have, of course, known that he carried the Aqua Jet. He's gonna KO me before I can get off either another Giga Drain, an Endeavor, or what have you. Basically, this guy is impo was impossible to kill. I go ahead and send out my ta um, Tachikoma. Uh, he goes ahead and Aqua Jets me. Uh, I was actually predicting him to switch, and so I just went for the Dark Pulse, which um, is replaced Shadow Ball um, thanks to the suggestion by Jade Hex. He survived with like 2 HP. I'm like, are you serious? So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Jirachi because I'm not sure that I can survive another hit. Um, basically, I don't know whether it's mid-max damage. Jirachi, meanwhile, takes that Aqua Jet like it was nothing, and I'm going to be able to KO it on the next turn. Um, he goes ahead and switches out Scrafty, which is fairly obvious, but I didn't think he'd switch into Scrafty, so that Psy Shock is completely blocked, and that sucks. Um, Jirachi goes ahead and uses Calm Mind here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, figure that I can set up on it, get off a nice Doom Desire, and kill this uh, baby. He goes ahead and crunches me, um, which does almost half, but that was a crit, so I'm thinking, I can wall this guy, you know, I can just can keep off, get, keep getting wishes off, and I should be okay. So I go ahead and go for a Doom Desire, as he goes for a bulk up, and um, I'm thinking, okay, well, he's going to set up on me, but, you know, a plus one Doom Desire actually might kill him, for all I know. I don't know what kind of set he's running, but it's quite possible. So anyway, I go for a wish right here, um, just to get my HP back up eventually. He, he goes ahead and goes for another bulk up. Um, but I'm still not really fearing too badly. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, go for the second calm mind here. So now I'm at plus two, um, and if I need to get off another Doom Desire, it's going to do more, I figure. So now he goes for a plus three uh, bulk up. Uh, so he's really setting up on me, and you know that might be an issue, but I don't know. So anyway, he goes ahead. I go ahead and hit him with Doom Desire. And it does a whole lot, but it doesn't kill him. I'm like, oh well, too bad. My wish comes true, and so I'm thinking, okay, this next Doom Desire is going to kill him for sure, because now I'm at plus two, while that last Doom Desire was only at plus one, because I figured Doom Desire, um, as I recall from the last generations, um, uses your current stats when you attack, um, which makes it pretty, pretty nice, I guess, um, because you can use the attack and then switch out, um, that kind of stuff. He goes ahead and drain punches me here. He's recovering back. Um, pretty much all of his HP. I survive with 38 HP and I'm thinking, okay, this is fine, I don't mind, I don't mind. I'm gonna kill you the next turn and I don't mind sacrificing my Jirachi this turn. Because if I get down, get out his Scrafty, I will be all set. So I go ahead and go for another Calm Mind because that's really the only thing I can do right now because I've got a Wish uh, up and I've got a, um, Doom Desire up, so there's nothing I can do. Jirachi feigns, and I'm like, okay, well, time for you to die, Scrafty. Here comes the Doom Desire. Drum roll, please. And here it comes. Die, uh, Scrafty. What the hell? That did nothing. I'm like, what happened there? I just couldn't understand it. Uh, so anyway, I have Puff go for a Dragon Dance here, um, because I figure I'll, I should be able to, um, I figure he's probably going to switch out. Um, this Drain Punch shouldn't do very much. Anyway, the answer to what happened with that Doom Desire, I will explain at the end of the battle. Um, so he breaks my, um, my, whatchamacallit, and I go for the, uh, the, um, what's, I'm sorry, I am not doing a good job talking. Anyway, uh, He's going to go ahead and crunch me as my Dragon Claw at plus one was not enough considering how many bulk ups he'd gotten. Um, and he uh, survives with just a little bit of HP, so I go ahead and send out Hoover, my Caracosta, and I'm going to go ahead and KO it with Aqua Jet, at least I hope so. Um, and indeed, I do KO because he couldn't have had more than a few HP, so that's awesome. He goes ahead and, send out, and sends out his Electros here. Um, I outsped, which I was kind of expecting. Um, the Electros is pretty slow, but I miss my uh, Rock Slide, and that's going to cost me big time. Uh, so I, I'm down to my Sturdy. Um, his Electros is switching out, and I'm like, oh no. And now he sends out his Meganium, so I'm like, shoot. This is not good at all. 
there's nothing good about the situation. Um, my le his leech seed misses, which is you know a saving grace, and that I I'm actually not going to say that, that made up for the rock slide hacks because I don't I think rock slide might have KO'd Electros. I'm not positive. Depends on the set he's running, I think. Anyway, he goes ahead and leech seeds me this turn, but I know that I can survive one round of leech seed. I'm, and I'm thinking if he's leech seeding me, then it probably means that he doesn't have an attacking move. Either that or he's breaking me to switch. Um, but I should be okay. So I get off my um, shell smash and I fig figure, okay, now I can do a whole lot to this Meganium. I'm going to outspeed it. Um, and thanks to Leftovers, I'm going to be able to uh, survive one round of uh, Leech Seed. In fact, I'm going to be able to survive two rounds of Leech Seed. He goes ahead and protects here, which is fairly obvious, but, you know, didn't want to predict. And nothing I could have done anyway. Actually, that's not true. I could have gone for another Shell Smash. I really should have gone for another Shell Smash, predicting that Protect. Um, but oh well, hindsight and whatnot. Um, I'm, d I'm down to 1 HP, um, which is just how the Leech Seed works. It's not like hacks or anything. So I go ahead and Rock Slide here, hoping to get the flame but not that it's going to matter anyway. He goes ahead and hidden powers me, so he does actually have an attacking move, which is interesting. Um, and he takes out my Hoover, my Caracosta, and that sucks. But Meganium is down to fairly low HP, so I'm hoping I might be able to revenge kill it. I go ahead and send out Tachikoma, my uh, Rotom Heat Form. He goes ahead and protects, uh, just to see what I'm going to lock myself into. Um, it's a really good thing that I didn't go for either Trick or Volt Switch, um, because that would have sucked either way. Instead I locked myself into Overheat, and he is going to have to sacrifice his Meganium, so that's pretty awesome. So I've taken out his Meganium. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm down to two Pokémon, and that's not going to be good. He goes ahead and sends out Croconow. I know that thing's going to do massive amounts of damage with Aqua Jet. <coughs> Aqua Jet, blah. He's, so I go ahead and switch out to uh, my Cosmic F, my Hitmon uh, top, which hasn't really been able to do much uh, so far in all the battles I've had with it. Um, anyway, I go ahead and pursue, thinking he might switch here, and indeed he does, and um, I KO his uh, uh, Croconaw, which is awesome. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, Croconaw, um, EVLA Croconaw is actually pretty good success. So now he sends out his Nidoking, um, goes ahead and sets up Toxic Spikes, expecting me to switch. Um, and, uh, but, you know, this is a spinner, so I'm really glad I didn't switch. Um, my bullet punch had done a fair amount to him. I'm gonna go ahead and rapid spin away at this point. Um, so that's gonna get rid of the entry hazards, and that's gonna be nice. And I'm back up to full HP, so Cosmic F is doing work, uh, today. Um, goes ahead and sets up some stealth rocks. I go ahead and pursue, thinking that he was going to switch. He didn't switch. Oh well. Still does a whole lot, thanks to Technician. He goes ahead and ice, uh, ice beams me. Does not do very much because, again, uh, Cosmic F is doing work. This is just awesome. So now I'm going to be able to KO with a bullet punch, and I managed to take out his Nido King. So that's really, really awesome. And now I don't really think that I can win this battle, but I am holding out hope. You know, it, it isn't outside the realm of possibility. He sends out Don Fan, and I'm like, well, okay, I'm gonna switch out. I think he's probably gonna go for the Earthquake or the St uh, Stealth Rocks or something like that. Instead, he goes for the Stone Edge, and this is the only Don Fan I've ever seen to run Stone Edge. Um, most run Ice Shard and Earthquake, and ra uh, mine runs Rapid Spin, and, uh, but anyway, yeah, it sucks, he predicted my switch, and now this is good game, because what can my Cosmic F do to him? This is my most powerful attack here, Revenge, but this is Don Fan, physically defensive and whatnot, does absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, let me take a second to um, point out the background. Um, yeah, so like Shofu, like everyone else on YouTube, I have, I'm playing around with these newly discovered AR codes. Um, I'm not giving credit to Shofu, I'm giving credit to Kyprotonic, who's the one who gave Sh uh, Shofu the cheat codes. Um, anyway, no, uh, so I'm playing around with the different backgrounds, and I think this one looks fairly nice. Not sure why he switched an Electros here, but he did, and that's going to KO my Cosmic F, and that's going to be the game. So anyway, great game, Antari. If you ever want to battle again, I should hopefully be able to do better. Um, yeah, really, I could have dealt with that Scrafty so easily with my Hitmon top. Duh! Or if I'd switch in, you know, uh, Dragonite earlier, or, you know, Rotom Heat Form. Should not have left him in my Jirachi, it was stupid. Um, but anyway, that's the way the cookie crumbles, and um, stay tuned for the explanation of the Doom Desire thing. So, yeah. Okay, so here's a screenshot showing how much damage that do first Doom Desire did. And as, as you can see, it's the black part of the health bar. It did well more than half. Here's a second one. It did less than half. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the first Doom Desire, Jirachi, was a plus one uh, special attack when it launched, plus two when it hit, and the attack attacked at about 63% uh, by my reckoning. The second one, Jirachi, was a plus two when it launched, um, fainted when it hit, the attack did 31% thereabouts. 
Um, and here's some damage calculations. A plus one um, Doom Desire should have done 44 to 52%, which is way too low for that first uh, Doom Desire. A plus two Doom Desire should have done 59 to 70, which agrees with the first Doom Desire, even though it was only a plus one. As for the second one, that matches a uh, zero Doom Desire. So that's really strange, but what it says is that basically it uses Jirachi's stats at the time the Doom Desire goes off, and when Jirachi is off the field, it counts as plus zero. So that's really, really lame. I'm probably going to take Doom Desire off of my Jirachi, because that's a pretty awful limitation. So yeah, there you go.